movement. My father had some inherited income, so he devoted himself to the abolition of costs and distinction between particularly the uh, what we call scheduled costs. He had inherited a big house and he had a income from the river Kaveri land. Among the people who practiced in the same court was uh, Rajagopalachari in Salem district. He was a friend of my grandfather and he interested his, my father's career. My father ensured that he went to law college, graduated and became a lawyer and he followed the same traditions. As a result, I didn't go to school. Till I was eight, I was taught by numerous people at home, mainly Muslims. and. Uh, in fact, my father was often traveling, so he didn't have time. It was gaffar. At the age of tight, we cannot uh, delay, and he admitted into the local high school. But the entire town was devoted to freedom movement. And uh, so it was a liberal town. <laughs> And uh, I also uh, applied and got into Royal College and uh, it was very good teaching, so I didn't even buy books. And after two years, we applied for the most coveted course, which was the honors in chemistry. So we you had to be very high marks even to be asked for an interview and uh, I got it.
see in Cambridge and Oxford, there were no laboratories. Uh, Muni colleges did teaching. And uh, postgraduate, there was a bit uncertain how. But he had somehow managed a laboratory. And he put me upstairs. It's uh, not easy to get upstairs. And uh, he gave me what I had wanted. So my papers appeared <laughs> in the Journal of the Chemical Society. And uh, he encouraged me in, in this. And uh, I had also chosen what I should do. I had uh, chosen to see what is the linkage in ribonucleic acid. Ribonucleic acid has two hydroxyl groups. The linkage was either 2 dash or 3 dash, but it was still uncertain. Probably two, three, three dash. I devised the system and produced a method by, standard method by which you hydroxyl is removed to be hydrogen. But uh, I didn't get it. I got something else. But the same carbon hydrogen analysis by which one hydroxyl had been reduced. Then uh, I proposed that uh, this is uh, something called cyclonucleoside. There was no evidence. But I walked down <laughs> to the physics laboratory and uh, bragged. He was known to help everybody. He got a Nobel Prize in 1926 with his father during the war. I asked him, this is my problem. Ah, he said, why, we can help you. I am getting a student from uh, New Zealand. I will ask him, but you should come back with a heavy atom, iodine maybe. So I put that iodine and went with the cyclonucleoside. He had to give me help with people who are experienced. And I found uh, uh, my was correct. So these were all extraordinary experiences. And uh, Todd also said he will, and Baker, will stand by me for a travel grant. And uh, he insisted I take a PhD. I was very annoyed. I said, I've got a PhD from Delhi. It's uh, not appropriate for another PhD. But he told me, no, I'm telling you, it will be of some use. You take a PhD and it will take you only six days to write. And I will give it to somebody and they will type it. So while I was away in India, it was typed and ready. And he asked one of his very great students, fellow of the Royal Society, to be examiner. And I uh, got examined and I was awarded a PhD immediately. He was correct. Because later on when I wanted to come to Cambridge, I got the senior 1851. You have to be a degree holder. Todd said, all right, you don't have anything, but you can go accept this MIT invitation and we will see.
we were able to make a number of protect the existing business completely banned at a time import i made all the perfumes i made all the oils from unusual oil seeds so we had no opposition among <laughs> us out and i introduced also these uh, new concepts a detergent bar instead of soap and i gave the name of the rin i think it is it was called trend then it sold a million tons <laughs> and then we introduced another uh, many other but particularly that indians were anxious to get a light skin so i did something fundamental to introduce a method by which the coloring of the skin by sunlight is stopped not only by sunscreen but the skin itself can be lightened that mechanism i myself discovered that is by using this uh, Uh, method uh, preventing triphosphate again so that is where we introduced in product called fair and lovely it sold out same day <laughs> so they made a lot of money huh? and uh, although foreign company this that but these are overwhelming and there is an independent press so i didn't want it but they made me a director also so but i was also invited to indian institute of science mm-hmm. biochemistry then uh, i was made a member of the council and i found the institute there was no real application money making and so i introduced a number of things uh, well, similarly we in maharashtra famine uh, very serious why we chavar and i had developed a method by which material could be made of supplying all the essential amino acids and the protein by using uh, different types of uh, dolls and so on and let's uh, they gave only 50 paisa per person so out of which uh, we distribution and other packing giving including to children so we supplied to all the few million people the entire requirement of protein for this material and mapatal foundation founded that and our the lady was the doctor hm patel second daughter she organized distribution and so it was successfully managed engineers in india but after some time they had no work so they decided 
to establish a chemical company. After about five or six years, they are registered. In fact, Lavraj Kumar registered, we are interested in Baroda to establish a chemical. But uh, we had no foreign exchange. C. Subramanian had managed to introduce PL variety, by which uh, huge amounts of grain were imported, which is now DST, and uh, uh, payment will be made by performing some tasks, so-called research, by Indian institutes and PL variety. So, this building was built uh, by, and then after four years, they said there are no more projects. So, they registered Indian Petrochemicals Corporation, and uh, there was no method. So, they introduced the aromatics plant to make the benzene, xylene, and all that, and then polyester. Uh, but uh, they allowed some uh, import of ethylene glycol. But that is very difficult because we then introduced the world's largest petrochemical plant, uh, cracking uh, ethylene, propylene, fractionated, all of them into polymers, into fibers, and uh, thousands of jobs were created throughout the country. Whenever they tried to make me secretary, I had managed to escape, saying it's not possible for me. And uh, the last attempt was when uh, Moraji became prime minister. And the chief, the prime cabinet minister, secretary, he asked me uh, that I should become chief, uh, the head of petroleum. I persuaded him that it's a noise to do, and two more projects are there, and they cannot be done by others. So this petroleum can be done by others. But uh, I didn't escape this in uh, uh, 1982. I was made a secretary in January, and uh, within two months, I was also made uh, the CSI head. There is a very beautiful <laughs> description, and at last we have got a, a director general, and that was soon a requirement of a five-year plan. So I have to travel all over, and so on. So we managed all this, and the last one. We had to go was Bhopal. I got an announcement that there is something funny happened, but I took my two joint secretaries and as booked. But when I reached Bhopal, I heard a huge number of deaths and many dying. Oh, many of them uh, had to be buried, had to be removed and the uh, election process had to be done uh, by the last week of December. So, and the fellow from finance, he left. And when I asked the cabinet secretary, he said, nobody else, I have declared you are the sole central government representative and the CBI will report to you. <laughs> so, one of the things I must say is the academies have not taken any notice. Most horrible thing where maybe 30, 40, uh, the 3 to 4, 5,000 people died. And they had all to be buried, bodies disposed of, and we had two other tanks. So, one tank full, another tank half full of the same material. What to do with them? I then came to my conclusion, saying 
not much water, just a little water will start a reaction. I knew enough about polymerization. No support from the original technology people, they didn't know anything. And uh, they were apparently there, but uh, the chairman was protected and he was taken away by special plane to Delhi and transported. So, there was no scientific reasoning support. I decided that uh, I will bring material which was processed by uh, mixing with alpha and alpha to convert it into a, a pesticide per sale that can be disposed of. But uh, that was my own decision. There was no other. I did ask Professor Sharma for a few hours to come. I had control over all the uh, people coming and going. And I went to Cabinet Secretary. He said, early morning, Rajiv will see you. <laughs> I asked Rajiv, but uh, he said, he has nothing to say. Total responsibility is with you. And I uh, asked the cabinet secretary for one other joint secretary, he said, nobody. Then Lata Singh offered. Uh, I said, I don't want a lady because she has been withdrawn by Alexander. But she offered to go with me. So I arranged for people came, but nobody to enter the factory. <laughs> And Bajpai came, but I was uh, kept in the uh, uh, gate. I went and pleaded with him. He finally went. And they, I asked Indoor High Court for release. They then said the two Indian managers imprisoned in the factory. Because I, their government refused to take over the factory. So I had to have a process ordered by the owners. So these two people I persuaded. They said we are better off inside the factory. Morally I then persuaded them. They were released and the CBI said they will take them and bring them back. And indoor High Court said uh, I can take them out only for this time when I am doing the process, after that they should be put back into prison. It's an extraordinary drama. And I said, uh, I had only maybe one or two hours each night. And uh, Dr. Uh, uh, Hiramachari came. He carried out hundreds of uh, postmortems and uh, some other people. So, I am uh, find that there is not a single reference by any academy. Mm Shadri was a good researcher. I came for an interview, I didn't like it, but uh, I decided either I will go to Shadri or to law college. My father said, all right, I'll give you some money and you go. I went to Professor Shishadri. I was present here in 1948. After joining Seshadri, we had gone back to Andhra. That was the year Raman uh, completed and retired and resigned. So, so all the people were present. Sir J.C. Ghosh, Sir K.S. Krishnan and uh, 
others, they all delivered lectures. I, Raman insisted fellows should publish in the Indian Academy. <laughs> oh, they are fit enough. And there will be no review. It is for them to hold the tradition. So my first papers were published here. Yeah, I was uh, the fifth president. Uh, after Raman and uh, our botanist and then uh, Manon and uh, Dawar. Uh, I was not uh, prepared because the academy valued uh, academic uh, interests and academic publications. They did not particularly have any interest in this. But uh, I got them to take some interest in other subjects and also increase the number of publications. Otherwise, they were highly limited and uh, engineering, technology and all were considered not appropriate. Although they knew, see, Raman got uh, 300 acres of land from the Maharaja and he opened this uh, Raman Institute and the Academy, he also started the manufacture of mantles for ker kerosene lamps. Uh, we had no time given any interest in such things. So I believe uh, what was introduced was also, uh, except Raman who got a Nobel Prize and asked, and also Maharaja of Mysore, we do not uh, have any importance attached to generating interest, academy, money. So without resource generation, it should be made particularly responsible. See, the academy, if you read the memorandum of association, it has several objectives recorded. Among the memorandum, you also will see that Raman had mentioned uh, advice to the government and uh, that uh, has not happened. So, the academy, in a sense, is not the same as the Royal Society or as the uh, U.S. Academy of Sciences and it has to find its own relevance and role. Uh, the academy cannot uh, function unless very bright people agree to uh, join in the science uh, activity and uh, try and uh, publish and so on and uh, so we have to ensure uh, India is very good in ensuring minimum payments and long term after retirement some schemes and so on but it has also allowed 
for patterns. But uh, we do not uh, seem to have uh, respect for copyright patterns. I think we, the academies should join and examine what is it we need to do. It's not my opinion. It should be jointly done to see uh, what is it that we need to do. Now, today I believe uh, our present academy, which uh, has not yet produce any close relationship with the industry. And the new area, that the rate at which technology is changing is so fast. In the, but we I remain still uh, outside of this rate of change. So my uh, requirement is the relevance of the academy is identifying areas and uh, perhaps able to mix ordinary with the extraordinary. The word extraordinary, now I understand. <laughs>